if I arrange the data in this particular case. And again, there are lots of ways that I can arrange this data with my frequency table. This is one example of creating the frequency table that I want. Okay. We'll get uh, later on. We'll see that you know, there's a there's sort of a method to the madness of how to create these. For now, just accept that I've gone through the method and that you are the benefit, beneficiary of that. Method. So uh, the first column here is going to represent the class. All the class is is it's just a range of scores that I'm going to put out there. So in the first category, I'm going to put all the people that scored between 15 and 24 touchdowns. For my data, there were 16 of those. In the second column, for the second category, between 25 and 34, there were 34. Between 35 and 44, there were 30. Between 45 and 54, there were 23. Uh, 55. 64, 13, uh, 65, 74, <coughs> there were 2, 75, 2, 84, there were 0, 85 plus, 85 to 94, there were 1. Alright, so in looking at the data now, this gives us a little bit clearer of a picture as to how the touchdown um, breakdown goes in terms of number of teams within each category. Right. Now, again, this data tells us exactly, or this data comes close to telling us exactly the same thing as that raw data does. Okay. It consolidates some of the information, but it consolidates it hopefully in a way that is beneficial to us. I can't take this data and reconstruct the raw data. Okay? I'm not able to go back to my raw data from just this information. That's one of the drawbacks of coming up with a uh, frequency table like this. Is I can't, you know, if I accidentally throw away the master information of data, this is not going to tell me how to recreate that. But this does give me an idea of what my data is telling me. From this, I can see that most of the teams score in this range right here. Between 25 and 54 touchdowns. That's what most teams end up being in. One team is exceptionally good. It's the Air Force right there. Air Force is pretty good. Boise State. Um, Boise State, yeah, it must be Boise State down there. Of course, if this goes on YouTube and Boise State sees that, they're going to be calling them and they're going to be pissed. So I don't know what you guys are Raleigh? Raleigh says that. All right, good. Um, Let's see. Uh, what else can we do with something like this? Well, with something like this, we can actually go through and we can create a visual picture. A visual picture of our data. And here is one example of a visual picture that we can construct with this data. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk more about how to get these pictures um, again later. Don't, uh, don't think that. This is all just magic. Along the vertical axis here, I'm going to call that the frequency. And then along the bottom here are going to be each of my classes. Okay. Uh, the first class is my 15 to 24. And there are 16 of those. So I'll put that around that high. And then the other ones I'll fill in as appropriate. And obviously I would want to label each of these. There's the 15, 25, 